everyone. I am sitting in a 2003 BMW Z4 that we recently installed in Alpine ILX F409, which has this nice big screen. It's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. And we this is a wired connection, so the USB was flush mounted right here where there actually had been a hole prior um, where somebody had put a toggle switch that we were not going to be using, so we just reused that existing hole. And we also did an Alpine front and rear camera. So this radio actually just has one camera input. But if you buy Alpine's high definition cameras, the HCEC2100RD, which is the reverse camera, and the HCEC2600FD, which is the front camera, along with their switcher module, the KCXC2600B, then you can do a front and rear camera. And not only is this gonna be a front and rear camera, but it's a multi-view camera, which is pretty, pretty neat. And it does come with this little separate activation switch. Now, the reverse camera is gonna be activated as soon as I put the car in reverse, but there's multiple views. So if I need to kind of see a little bit more of what's going on, I'm just gonna tap this mode button right here. I have a little bit wider angle view. I have a top down view, which is pretty cool. So if you're in parallel parking, in a really tight spot, that's gonna be super helpful. And then I have outer corners. And that's the standard reverse camera image. Now, if I wanted to activate the front camera, I could actually just press this on off button. And there's my front camera view. And that's the standard view. But just like the rear cameras, this has multiple views as well. Tap the mode button. There's my outer corners. There's my top down view. And there's my, I think, standard view. I don't think, uh, yeah, they don't do the wide view, it looks like, for the front camera, just the three views. So even though this unit only has one camera input, that's kind of my only complaint. At least Alpine does offer a really nice solution if you did want to do a front and rear camera. You kind of go for the best quality that they offer. And this unit, I think, looks pretty great in this car. It had a flip out in here previously, but we didn't, you know, really like the way it looked and one thing I really like about this particular radio is that satin edge trim really kind of matches the dash behind it so it's definitely more fitting in this vehicle than the old-fashioned flip out that was in here previously and I think that's it for today's quick video if you're interested in products and services like this for your vehicle please reach out to our shop soundsincrediblemobile.com or visit my blog carstereochick.com and if you enjoyed watching, kindly hit that like button or subscribe. We appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you next time.